बात को यही समाप्त करता हूं धन्यवाद ऑनरेबल मेंबर डॉक्टर वी खला ने दी टू गिविंग मे एन ऑपरचुनिटी टू टॉक ऑन दिस सक्सेसफुल लॉन्च ऑफ द चंद्रयान थ्री सर sir i would like to congratulate all the scientists and staff who were been instrumental in ensuring that this mission was successful i am not only talking about the people who were present sir i am talking about the people in the past as well so i would like to say that this was a success not only for the people of india but it is a success for the people of this whole world if you look at the evolution of rocket science it is something which was started during world war 2 sir so the germans were the ones who were able to start off this project though it was for a destructive purpose they were initially intending to send missiles for inflicting wounds on other neighboring countries like britain and france but this technology has been successfully used in the launch of missiles and during the cold war between the us and russia where russia was ahead in the missile technology and in space programs they were not able to land a person sir like our honorable uh, mp earlier had spoken about valentina tereshkova was the first woman who has been in space and subsequently there have been many missions where even indian astronauts have been to space and kalpana chawla a woman from india also has been there sir so at this kind of a juncture to talk about the greatness of what the scientists in isro have achieved i think we cannot undermine the efforts which have been taken because whenever you are talking about launching a rocket or a, a satellite into space and landing on the moon and having a rover going in the moon is something which is unfathomable where it it requires million thousands and thousands of calculations which need to be done where not a single one can go wrong in fact chandrayaan 2 i do not blame anyone it is just that whenever you are doing science there are bound to be some mistakes which can happen and you have to learn from them and see how we can ensure that there is a successful mission again so i congratulate the scientists for not giving up on their mission and i also support this government for having supported the scientists to ensure that chandrayaan 3 especially being the first country to land in the south pole of the moon sir i would also like to say that the honorable minister for science had already expressed his views about how successful this government has been and i congratulate them but at the same time you also should understand that launching a satellite into space is only a field uh, one particular field sir so if you are looking at development we have to look at development holistically you cannot look at it as a single aspect and say that we have launched a uh, satellite and landed on the moon and that is the first for any country in this world so we are great this is not how would, how i would like to look at it i would like to say japan we proudly say that we were able to land when japan's mission failed but i would like to point out that japan has a rail network which has one of the highest speeds sir it touches about 280 kilometers or 320 kilometers per hour and they have not recorded a single incident of a casualty for the past several decades so i would like this government to take lessons from those countries also when you're talking about a holistic growth we are talking about development in all kinds of aspects sir development in every area and also when we are talking about infrastructure development you talk about road network sir the honorable uh, minister for road network is here and they are doing a fantastic job sir we keep talking about statistics where during the congress government it was 1 kilometer kilometer per month then during vajpayee's government it was 1 kilometer per day and now it's about 8 to 10 kilometers per day i congratulate the government on this but if you look at the statistics for infrastructure development the need of the hour is to ensure that inland waterways are developed it is the need of the hour to ensure that freight trains the network for that is developed we are pathetically in very bad in developing these networks sir we have a bharat mala program which is involving some 6 lakh crores over several years sir but we are not able to establish any of those things which will not only help in, in boosting the economy of this country but will also help in achieving our honorable prime minister's vision of 5 trillion dollars sir so every state should be given an opportunity to perform well sir and especially when you look at this country half the population are women sir if you are looking at opportunities we have to say that we have come a far far way from 
the last 150 years, if you look, there was a period where sati was being practiced. And even today, there are some people who glorify this concept of sati. But now it has been abolished. It is against the law. But still, oppression of women is happening, sir. Not only women, also people from certain communities, they, are at, they feel threatened in this country. So when you're talking about development, we have to ensure that each and every citizen of this country has an opportunity to say that I am afraid of nothing and the government is here to support me. And yes. also the jobs which are terribly, terribly lacking, sir. For the last few years post-COVID, though we say the economy has boomed, it has boomed only for a select few and not for the whole population, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Honorable Member Sri Ramesh Biduri Ji. आपने मुझे बहुत ही बड़े इंपोर्टेंट इस विषय पर जिससे हमारा देश गौरवान्वित हुआ है 140 करोड़ लोग गौरवान्वित हुए हैं ऐसे